Prince Harry sheds tears for brother-in-arms, 33, who took his own life after PTSD battle after Helmand Tours. Prince Harry shed a tear when he embraced the mother of a soldier who helped protect him in Afghanistan but later took his own life after developing post-traumatic stress disorder. The 33-year-old royal, who completed two tours of duty fighting the Taliban in Helmand province, threw his arms around the mother of warrant officer Nathan Hunt when they met last week at a charity concert in London. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were visibly moved as they listened to Maria and Derek Hunt describe how they had struggled to come to terms with Nathan's death in January. Harry gave me a bear hug as soon as he saw me, just like Nathan used to do, said Maria, from Lincoln. I'd spent a week practicing a little bow for when I met Harry but he didn't give me the chance. He just pulled me into his arms. When I looked up, Harry had a tear on his cheek. It was very emotional because he knew my son well. They went through a lot together. He is so warm and caring and so was Megan. Derek and I are, of course, still grieving for our Nathan, but I really felt that Harry and Megan appreciated what we're going through and that meant so much to us. Harry remembered Nathan's sense of humor and praised his professionalism. Nathan found a lot of Taliban bombs, any of which could have killed Harry. The death of Vohunt, who served in a desert reconnaissance unit with Prince Harry in 2008 and was mentioned in dispatches for his work to find roadside bombs, inspired a campaign by the Mail on Sunday for a 24-hour mental health helpline for serving military personnel. The government bowed to pressure from this newspaper and Lord Danat, the former head of the British Army, and set up the helpline, which has since received hundreds of calls. Prince Harry has a deep interest in mental health, including the work that heads together, a coalition of charities, does for current and former military personnel. In June, the Mail on Sunday revealed how he had confided his fears about a recent surge in suspected suicides in a private letter to a decorated former war hero. The letter to color Sergeant Trevor Colt, 43, a former non-commissioned officer in the Royal Irish Rangers and leading campaigner on veterans' issues, requested that he gather details about the recent deaths on Prince Harry's behalf and pass on any information. The Hunts met the Duke and Duchess during the 100 Days to Peace concert at Westminster Central Hall on Thursday. The event raised funds for the charities Help for Heroes, Combat Stress, and the Royal Foundation, which all work to help soldiers and veterans with mental health issues.